everyone. Today we are going to walk you through um, our process for taking microplastics and identifying them under the microscope. So I'm going to start by opening up um, our filter paper. Our filter paper has a grid on it so that it'll be easier to see where the microplastics are underneath the microscope with the grid. And I'm using tweezers so that I don't contaminate the paper. I don't want to touch it with my hands. I could get other particulates on it and we want to make sure we're just seeing microplastics as best as we can. So I'm putting it in um, this ceramic container here, which is attached to our vacuum pump. And I'm going to be starting with bottled water. We're going to be doing both bottled water and tap water. So we will be able to see the difference between the two. And I'm going to pour in until I reach the top and I'll fill this three times to get one sample. I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump. And now we have our sample on our piece of filter paper. So I'm going to take that out of here. I have to release the suction first. And now we're going to look at this under our microscope. So now we're over at our microscope. We have our first sample ready to view. And we also, you may see, have a camera hooked up to our computer so that whatever we can see underneath the lens of the microscope, we can also see on our computer. So we can, we can scan the gridded filter paper to look for microplastics. Here are two pieces of microplastic that we found in our bottled water sample. You can notice that they are long and thin strips and appear to be clear plastic. These are likely from the plastic bottle itself. Here are two pieces of microplastic that we found in our tap water sample. So far we have found fewer pieces of microplastic in the tap water, but it is still concerning that we are finding microplastic in the tap water. So we finished tallying our two samples. You can see that our plastic water bottle sample had 38 pieces of microplastic, and then our tap water sample had 10 pieces of microplastic. So there's a pretty big difference between these two numbers. It's been estimated that humans consume about a credit card's worth of plastic every week, which is about five grams. And scientists are still working to understand the health implications for humans um, by, the, by consuming microplastic, um, but it is pretty apparent that microplastics are prevalent in just about every environment. We also looked at a sample that we filtered down from a different commercial water bottle brand because this commercial water bottle brand has been determined by scientific studies to have the highest concentration of microplastics. And based on our sample, we did see a high concentration of microplastics. As you can see in one of our pictures, you can see four pieces of microplastic within the same frame. We also looked at a filtered down lake sample to see what microplastics there were in our surface water. And as you can see, we did also find microplastics there. Uh, we also found more brightly colored microplastics, including this green sample. And it's become increasingly evident through many scientific studies that microplastics can be found almost anywhere in almost any natural environment. And that is true of our surface water as well.